Hey everyone, Paul Daniels here again. Okay, today it's actually not midnight, it's closer to, well, it's four o'clock about, and I'm finally getting something else done here. Now, I've got a Western Digital uh, My Book. Now, I've had a bad run of these things in the past over many years. So, this one is not connecting to the computer, and when I plug power into it, it won't switch on, even when it's plugged into the computer. So I'm really hoping that uh, it's just a, a USB bridge power board failure as opposed to anything more severe. The casing you can see is popped open a little bit which tends to indicate to me it's probably been dropped which I really didn't want to see. Uh, often when these things drop it's the end of the game for them. The hard drive's too messed up, I can't get them to uh, come online even after I've taken them out. So I'm going to have a look inside, see what's going on, see if it's anything easy. Probably if it's not dead easy I may just uh, put it straight into the data recovery server and pull the data off that way and consider it a write-off. But I'm curious to find out why it's not uh, powering up. So yeah, getting these things open, well it's already got a helping hand here since this one's broken can be a little bit tricky. They have a weird sort of a method where this outer gloss shell pulls forward. The trouble is, by the time you work out the method, you've pretty much got it off anyway through brute force. Uh, let's find our weak point. The points. Naturally, because I don't want to just jam things in there too much. Otherwise, oh, you don't know what you're going to hit. There we go. Let's see. Where's my helpers? Ah, uh, what have I done with my helpers? Uh, there's one. Stick this in. Kind of helps. <laughs> I buy these black things in bags of 10 or 20 or something like that. Uh, no, it's not good. I don't mind about bending this particular metal spudger, it's not my favourite metal spudger. I bought this one thinking it was going to be a um, suitable replacement, but unfortunately it's actually quite a bit thicker on the blade end. Oh my god, I can't even get into this. Uh, it's quite a bit thicker on the blade end than the other one, which means I may have to actually use my good one. No. You'd think after having done a few of these, I would know what I'm doing. There we go. Ah. Alright, not so bad. <laughs> Ow. That went straight through. That was not a good thing. Good thing the hard drive's off. Ow. That hurt. That was a sharp end of that. Went straight into my palm. Uh, I'm gonna go get a alcohol. Alcohol? No, brains fading. Gonna go get a white for that. Be right back. <sighs> Righty. So I have a box of these medical wipes for very good reason. Oh yeah, the sting. <laughs> Yeah, it hurts a lot more than it should. Oh well. Now, before you're worried about contamination, this hard drive will not be going back to the customer anyway. So, I'm more worried about me getting contaminated. Alright, let's try that again. Blimey, heck, that hurt. Delicate parts of the body. <laughs> Normally I use the blunt ones of these, yeah, ones, older ones that are broken. <sighs> so they don't normally do that sort of damage to me. Damn, that hurt.
finally. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. Just stab myself. Ah. All right. Fortunately, because the hard drive is off, it uh, the heads are parked, so they can handle that sort of impact. If it was running, it'd be well and truly ruined, which is actually what happens to them most of the time. Usually, they're sitting on someone's desk, happily doing their job. Someone comes running through the room, trips on the cable, and it goes flying off the desk and hits the floor. Oh, while well, it's running. Yeah. Okay, you're out. Nice little uh, optical carrier thing. Oh, ready, ready, ready. Let's get this board off. Unusual design. Oh, you got another one? Yep. Another screw in there. Yeah, I'm going to go put this into my um, data recovery dock because quite honestly there's no real point in me being concerned about this. Uh, if there's issues with this then really the client just wants the data off so I really shouldn't bother wasting any time at all on that. I guess you could consider this a video of just what to watch out for when you're undoing these damn cases. Ah. Not the first time this sort of thing's happened. Alright, I'm going to switch over and uh, see what it's like on the data recovery server. Alright, so we'll get on to the recovery server here. The uh, 2 terabyte hard drive is plugged into the dock. And we're just going to switch it on. Let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, it's not a good sign already. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this isn't good. Oh, we got lucky. It finally came up. Alright. Yeah. This will be fun. So, that's interesting. I don't know what the AHDI SDC... This is different. Hopefully it's not encrypted. Uh, well, I guess first thing we're going to do is try to see what we can recover. So... Fortunately, I've cleared up enough space on here. We've got 2.3 terabytes. Good. Okay. Nice V, nice V, nice F, nice O, nice P16. Fingers crossed. Initially, it seems all right. What I don't like is looking at this data. It it doesn't look very uh, how shall I say raw, but it's rather random. I'm not seeing any of the typical sort of uh, sequences that you might see with typical data. It just looks like gibberish. 
So I'm kind of worried that this may be a encrypted drive. Uh, let's see. It's having troubles reading. Okay, what I'm going to do is just stop this. Like I said, it's not a problem to stop DD Rescue because it will come back right where it started for. Uh, let's, see. let's try and mount this. Mounted as read only, of course. So, so, ah, jeez. This. Doesn't contain the. Okay. Not good. It looks like we've got an encrypted drive. Uh, let's have a. <laughs> uh, why? Okay, what this means, if it is an encrypted drive, we're going to have to fix the um, USB converter uh, board that wasn't powering up. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I just really want to confirm that this is actually encrypted before I do anything too dramatic. Maybe I'm just misreading this. Uh, Let's see. Nope, nothing. Uh, great. Um, I'm going to look see if I can find anything that's remotely associated with normal data by looking for all the strings in the image file. Sank, sank. Yeah, that's that's not looking good. Normally by now you should see something like Microsoft or um, JPEG or all manner of different. All I'm getting, the only thing good I'm getting is this SANK, which to me would seem like either a lead in or a terminator for something. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, I'm just going to speed through. Still not seeing anything good. No, no, no. Yeah. So it appears the data is good off the drive, but it's not human readable. Oh, just hilarious. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep this running because I suspect that this may actually be damaged in itself. So we're going to do the data recovery anyway. Uh, and then if need be, we can move it to another external drive. Um, and hopefully if we can repair the board plug it in just in case this drive can't handle it. Alright, okay, well I'll um, jump back to repairing the board now and see what we can come up with. Basically what I'm noticing is that it's just not powering up and I did a voltage test on the power up button here. Now I'd expect to see some sort of voltage at 3.3, something like that, or 5 on this pin here so that um, or even on one side of this resistor so that when you press the button it pulls it down to ground but I'm not getting anything there which tends to make me think that the one of the power regulators is not running so uh, it wouldn't surprise me then if it is these caps so let's see what okay you watch this isn't going to work Point three, point three, yeah, point one seven, point one seven. Hmm. That's obviously ground. <laughs> ground. Well, what's interesting is that I'm 
fourth, so point three nine, and I get the same on both sides. Seven. Seven. This is where not having a schematic is a whole lot of fun. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll just take these things off. I'm assuming they're capacitors. They, they could be coils, but it's a little unusual. They don't look like that to me. To me, yeah. actually, maybe they are coils. This is really confusing me. One thing's for sure is I'm definitely not getting power. Uh, okay, let's turn the hot air on. <laughs> okay, I usually sit on about uh, 460, 75% air or so with this. Actually, if I look carefully, it looks like a slight keying mark on those. I should probably mark that down as well. Okay, I just want to mark where the little that there and that points to that. Otherwise you can bet your boots I'll get it backwards. Right. I'm just going to leave it on the... mount it on there. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that, that, that's not good. What is this? It must be a coil. And my tweezers are complete shit. Yuck. I'll just see what we've got there now. I could be completely watching this up for all I know. Seven point three five eight. Well, that's great. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, what the hell were you? You smell bad, too. Judging by the way it melted, I'm thinking it's a coil. Uh, I'm gonna just slice that sucker open. Hopefully without slicing my fingers. to the nether realm. Holy dooly. Can this get any better? <laughs> crap. Oh, that's that's just crap. I haven't got a foggiest where that's going. I can't believe I did that. Oh, that is so bad. 